This was so awkward that made boxing history. People and experts anticipated it would be a joke, a ludicrous and pointless display, but Nganu shut the mouth of everyone, leaving the world speechless. So was Nganu robbed? This is a hot topic. Today we're going to share our thoughts. And yes, in our previous videos we went against the tide, saying that Fury should have been cautious and taken Nganu seriously, but even we didn't expect such a performance from Nganu. Nganu, in his first pro boxing match ever, has achieved what top-level professional boxers have failed to do, making Tyson Fury's boxing seem powerless. This has been an earthquake in the world of boxing beliefs. So what's next for Nganu, Fury and the future of boxing? We'll discuss about that, and in the end of the video, We'll talk about something that no one is discussing about. I don't know why, maybe because they're still so shocked for what just happened. So let's dive into the biggest surprise in boxing history. What everyone expected was an impetus in Gunn starting aggressively and the season fury keeping his cool controlling the distance with his jab. But no. Ngano started unexpectedly calm, showing a great boxing IQ. Ngano didn't rush toward Fury, waiting for the right moment, keeping his composure and countering. And then, the twist in the third round. Fury starts losing his composure. Ngano takes advantage and knocks down Fury. The audience screams crazy. Boxing gurus are in disbelief. Ngano is dancing around Fury. From here on, the rest of the fight seems like an uphill battle for Fury. Ngannou appears a bit tired, but he doesn't gas out as people predicted. Fury is looking more and more frustrated and powerless. He throws more punches, but they seem inaccurate and hard to connect. On the other hand, Ngannou throws fewer punches, but happens to be more accurate and maintains a better form. End of the match, split decision. The first judge gives his advantage to Fury, the second to Ngannou, and the third gives the victory to Fury by one point. The result seems hastily arranged to save the face of the boxing champion, but the real winner appears to be Ngannou. The crowd cheers for him. He is disappointed by the defeat, but still shows his joy and pride for the performance. Fury, on the other hand, seems shocked. Ngannou's clean face contrasts with the visible marks on Tyson's, and revealing we connected more with strong punches. So yes, I think Ngannou was robbed. Credit to him. And Fury will find himself in the midst of a storm and controversies in the coming weeks. And what about the big coming match? About the heavyweight undisputed championship? Well. Yusik just officially won the fight. He probably lost, actually, with Dubois. Does this upcoming fight seem still so exciting? Well, it will be the responsibility of the two champions to not leave the image of the sport. Never before has boxing been such a celebrity showcase as we saw in the Saudi season. The future of boxing is linked with media. We may not like it, but there is no escape. Adapt or die. This time, with this fight, we have both great communication and a boxing show with that unexpectedly astonishing match. And with this weird outcome, let's say it, contract or not, Fury owns Ngannou a rematch. Now, talking about Fury, we are now at the final point. As Fury won, it seems like he's okay with that, but I don't think he is intimately. And this is very important for Fury's future career. Let me explain. Fury seems to be celebrating the force enthusiasm in a hidden embarrassment. Very badly hidden embarrassment. I guess he was even so shocked that he didn't fully realize what was going on at that moment. And I have to be honest, for me, it was painful to watch him that way. All these fights shattered the Gypsy King's self-esteem. We really wish not. That was it. There's nothing, there's, there's no who to blame. Blame me. Blame me if you're gonna blame anybody. You know, it was what it was, it's a fight game. And we know Fury is a fighter in the ring and in life, turning his darkest moments into an opportunity for redemption. Well, I spoke a lot for feeling still speechless. Lots to digest for everyone. So, see you next. And always believed, as impossible can come true.